Howdy music fans, thanks so much for joining me today. I just got back from the record store, the one right down the street from my place, and found a bunch of cheap bootleg Grateful Dead CDs, so I thought I'd share. Um, not all of them, there's one of them. Here's a little bag, and then here's everything I found. Um, the first one is not a bootleg, but it is a... Um, a Rhino release from Hartford 1977. Three CD set for 13 bucks, and these usually go for, um, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks. Um, so, yeah, the CDs are in CD3 is in here, CD2 is in here, and CD1 is in here, and it comes with a nice little booklet. There, it's called Two Terrapin. So this is a legit release from Rhino, and those are, these are usually really nice, um, as you can see from the packaging. And like I say, they're they're pricey. So I don't I have like one or two of them I think that I when I find them cheap like this I, I pick them up. So I picked this one up for thirteen bucks today. That was a nice find, and it's in it's in really nice shape. And there's a little tear up there, but not a big deal. Um, so. I think the store is kind of really smallerizing their CD um, section, which bums me out, and they're biggerizing their vinyl section, but oh well, what are you going to do? So anyway, there's the first one. The next one is called Grateful Dead Playing Acoustic, and the Grateful Dead released a record called Dead Reckoning, where they had done um, a bunch of shows at the Warfield Theater in California, uh, I guess that's San Francisco, I think. In 1980 and it was they went from like September 25th to October 19th or something like that it was like 15 shows and Dead Reckoning is a collection of those songs and then the Grateful Dead um, on rec on record store day I'm not sure which year Rhino released this and it's more of those sets it's from October I think 9th and 10th yeah 9th and 10th and these songs, there's like one song overlap on this from Dead Reckoning. So anyway, I saw this and I thought, oh, it's going to be the same stuff. And it's from October 1st. And there is not one song on Dead Reckoning from October 1st. And nothing on that from October 1st. So this is all new. So for me, it's going to be brand new. Uh, and I love that Dead Reckoning album. It's probably, it's one of my favorite Grateful Dead albums. So I thought, you know. More of that stuff can be good. All right, this is called Fallout from the Fill Zone. And these are all, the rest of these are all six, or not six ninety nine, so seven bucks, two, two CD set. Um, and this is, um, this is, I think, a legit release, actually. Um, I could, yeah, it looks like it is. I'm not sure, though. Um, and this has a booklet that explains, it's a collection, basically explains where each song was recorded where and when there's something from 1970 on here 19 uh, let's see 19 more 1970 1970 1971 1977 so there's stuff from all over the place on this um, uh, and uh, I've never heard this I mean you know some bootlegs aren't going to be great but you figure with the Grateful Dead they usually are going to be pretty good since they allowed tapers in there Sorry about the light in the background, but I might need it to read some of these for you. Okay, next one, Grateful Dead uh, in a long, in a lifelong dream. Another two disc set for seven bucks. Now let's take a look at when this was recorded. Um, well, what it's, uh, well, hang on, first of all, there's your back cover. Hopefully you can see the songs there. And then let's take a look. Oh, another nice booklet. These are, this is definitely a bootleg. Um, I, I, I was an avid Grateful Dead fan when I was a kid. Um, mostly the studio albums I liked, and then that Dead Reckoning album. But um, I have never seen any of these, so they're, they're definitely bootlegs. As much as I poke around in record stores. Okay, so this is recorded. It doesn't tell us. Interesting. Oh, wait, yes, it does. Wait, is that? No, these, that's more of the set list. It does not look like it tells us anywhere. In a lifelong dream. Yeah. 
Um, it was released, it looks like, in 1992. Um, Terrapin Station looks like it might be the latest song I see on here, so it was after that album was released. So Many Roads, that was a later one, I believe. Interesting. Okay, yeah, doesn't say anywhere where what this is from, so that'll be interesting. Next one is called Here Comes Sunshine, and this is another two-disc set that was recorded on, it says, uh, 1993 in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. There's the cover, Bob and Jerry there. A little bit of a water, a little water damage on the back cover there. A little wrinkles, not much though, not a big deal. Nice uh, picture discs there. So somebody dumped a boatload of Grateful Dead there. And I found it. There was a lot I didn't get actually. Some of it was a lot of it was legit, but there was I think um, yeah, most of it was legit. But there was a lot of stuff there that you don't see normally used in the record store. One was called Hundred Year Hall, which is a live. Um, I believe that one was a legit live release, and it was seven bucks for a two disc set. And for some reason I just didn't get it. I don't know why. Um, Steal Your Face was in there, and I'd recently bought that for like. 10 or 11 bucks per disc separately and the whole thing was right there for seven bucks and that's a hard thing to find so that was pretty cool find there was some bob weir in there there was some a robert hunter there was a jerry garcia two disc set of collection volume one or something all right another one dawn of the dead grateful dead two cd set these look like they're all from the same company possibly same um yeah kts well, not all of these, but those these two. This is 1993, recorded in Eugene, Oregon, right down the road there. So there's Dawn of the Dead. And typically, these are, you know, soundboards, and there's a nice picture disc. These are all picture discs. I mean, they put a lot of, the people who make these, obviously, put a lot of care into them. And, uh, ah, oh, well, i got to put that back together, but. There's the other disc. That was a little bit hard to open up, but I did not break the tab, so yay. Um, I'll put this back together later. I'll show you the booklet. There's the um, other picture on the inside. Pretty nice stuff here. And this one looks like it opens up like that again, like the other ones. Um, Yeah, I'm, I was I'm thrilled to find this kind of stuff. And granted, you know, I'm not going to listen to all this that much. It's mostly a collection kind of thing. You know, it's I like to collect it. It's neat. And for that price, you know, I will definitely check these out. Grateful Dead, Out of Your Skull. This is a two CD set, and it's uh, different. Looks like a different company. This is from Buffalo, 1977. There's the front there. There's the songs, and uh, there's one of the discs, disc one, ah, we're going to get the same problem, no, okay, disc two, and the back there, and then, whoa, Nelly, see that's what I don't like about these things when the they don't, yeah, the, the hubs, the hubs are a little bit busted on this, so the CDs aren't staying in there. And this one looks like it's a little bit of a less, uh, less extravagant book out of our skull. And I don't think I showed you the picture discs and everything in the first one, did I? In the fill zone one. That's not that exciting. It's kind of swirly there and then there's that and there's that and I think that's it did I yeah I think I showed uh, oh did I, maybe it was this one I was thinking of that one's not that exciting but it does have you know all of these are really nicely put together for bootlegs and I will put in the comments um, once I listen to them I'll put how they sound down in the comments so 
Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great uh, day and uh, please like, subscribe and comment. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks.